Hey guys, so you have rendered your image in Blender but it's still looking a bit bland and boring. In this video, I will show you how to paint over in Photoshop and will turn this image to this. Image compositing is a very important step to turn your render into a more of a better quality and I use this trick on all of my work every time. So before doing anything, export your render with a transparent background. In the render section, go to film and turn on transparent and render out the image. Upload the image in Photoshop. The first step is to crop your image. We don't want this much negative space in our renders. I will add a layer and fill it with a grey background. You can add any color background you want. Mostly grey ones work for me. Now here is the interesting part. I will duplicate the render layer by selecting it and hit Ctrl J. Right click and convert it to smart object. Now go to the filters and click camera raw filter. Now this part of the section is where all the magic lies. Just play with these sliders until your image starts to pop out. There is no hard rule about what to change here. Just go with the flow and see if it is looking good or not. Now see the difference? Here is before and after. Before, after. Just by using this trick already we made our render two times better. It is popping out more in terms of colors. I use this technique all the time with all of my 3D renders. Additionally, we can add something more to it in order to make it even better. I will manually paint the ambient occlusion on the surface where the two geometries are touching or intersecting and I know a really easy way to do it. So I will add another layer and change the blend mode to multiply. I will rename it with M. Now I will select the soft round brush, opacity to 90% and flow to 90% as well. Make sure to turn the pressure sensitivity of the opacity as well. I will pick the color and start painting the crevices. It's on a multiply blend mode. So it is multiplying the colors, creating this dark effect. Very useful for painting ambient occlusion, shadows and stuff. Now see the difference, off versus on, look how much depth it created. Now create a new layer, rename it to S and change the blend mode to screen. Now with the screen blend mode, it can work as the light mode. We can add very bright strokes onto our image. Like here I am picking the color of the eyes and painting it. You can see how white it is getting, very useful to add reflection as well. You can also use this technique to add rim light. Now the final step I do is right click on the layer and click flatten image. Now hit Ctrl J to duplicate the layer and convert it to a smart object again. Go to filter, blur gallery and click on iris blur. Adjust according to your needs and change the blur from 15 to 6. Now see the difference, it's a very subtle change. I would call this an optional thing. You can add blur onto your renders or not. It doesn't make any significant difference if you don't have any background elements in it. And that's how I make my renders look better. These simple tips I shared can really improve your render presentation so be sure to give them a try. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover in a future video. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.